Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you? Yes, lots of people on YouTube do, including me. They want to be game developers. Sadly, 1 in 20 of these kids on YouTube never make it to the finish line because they don't have a clear idea of what they want to make or are not quite experienced enough to reach their goal. With your help, a small donation of 0.1 Bitcoin, we can help these people, often children, to achieve their dreams and- What a freaking charity case! Let's talk about what I'm making instead! Hey everyone, I'm- Why did I pick this stupid ass name? I'm Power Up T and I'm developing my dream game. That's what it says here on the title. Now for the past two years I've been working on a game called Socket. A devil may punch out like with humorous cutscenes and running stages. It's uh, fast paced and hopefully funny to more people than just me. <laughs> so let's talk about the game itself. It's a lot like NES Punch-Out in terms of perspective, and controls similarly too. You punch with a button press that corresponds to a fist, hold up to punch high, and use other directions to block and dodge. However, there's lots of differences from Punch-Out as well, because as I like to say, you can't win nostalgic people over just by making the same exact game again. Uh, for example, in most fights you can punch the opponent at any time, and are encouraged to do so to keep the combo meter up. This leads to faster paced action about seeing just how fast you can get the opponent down. The other major change is with the opponent's attacks. You see, I'm an intellectual, and I like it when games I play make my brain go- Because of this high concept thinking, I got the idea to implement a color-coded system for the opponent's attacks. Just as colors correspond to happiness. What do colors have to do with happiness? Well, um, let's see. LSD makes you see colors, and that makes people Whenever an opponent attacks, they flash a color, and that signifies how you should respond. Yellow means that you need to dodge, red means you need to block, and purple means that you need to jump over something. Also, red attacks can be countered if timed right. You know, I may not be able to read minds that well, but I can detect going off in your brain right now. Bosses all bring something new to the table in this game, whether it be through a new type of attack, strange design, or an entirely unrelated gimmick. But with every fight, I hope to bring a varied yet cohesive experience with a consistent design language and many surprises. That's right, unlike other Punch-Out likes, this game has a complete narrative. I've seen other games like Punch-Out Wii use cutscenes to give some context to fighters, but, you know, that's kind of freaking boring. I'm pulling off this whole ass comedy plot, just for you. When I decided to do this, I was mostly inspired by, um, what is that game with the funny skeleton in it? But I've also taken the inspiration from a variety of areas in terms of humor. When I started writing, I asked myself, who is this guy? Why are his arms metal? What does he do outside of fights? This is Alpha Piston. He's a boxer and he got his arms blown off. They couldn't treat him medically, so they froze him until the future came, so they have the technology to treat him. He also has amnesia, the number one tool for making a mysterious plot. Many years later, this robot woke him up and gave him an apartment to live in if he started boxing again. However, not all is as it seems. You see, Ashley here was squatting there and claims ownership of the whole place. Now she's using that leverage to extort him out of his money, since there's a housing crisis, and comedy ensues between them. Also, there's a really weird assassin that's trying to kill him. Who's a friend? Who's an enemy? Will Alpha Piston find out what happened in his past? Why the hell is Ashley wearing a duck hat? All will be explained if you play this video game on your personal computer. The other major component of this game breaks up the cutscenes to keep them fresh. Running stages. The first one starts out as an homage to the NES Punch-Out, but of course, this game is no homage fest. There's lots of original stuff here. There's even a boss fight. Run away from fridges, run into danger, and run this game on your computer to make me a proud, proud... <clears throat> you know, a long time ago, 
I told your mother I'd get some milk. I've been working on this game for over two years now, and I'm planning on releasing it next year. The game is almost content complete. Right now, I'm developing the final boss, with a bit more content to develop after. This includes the rest of the final area, title defense stages, a secret boss, and workshop support. I might touch on those a bit more in a separate video at a later date. If you've made it this far, you should definitely check this game out on Steam, try the demo, and wishlist it. It'll help me a lot at release, and I need all the help I can get. Thanks to everyone in the Socket Discord server, which, <laughs> by the way, is something you should join. I post updates there, and you should, like, totally check it out, dude. Feel free to like and subscribe, too. That always helps. Goodbye! I don't know what happened. I was I was editing the footage and I found El Diablo. <laughs>